We are joined here by um, Christina Kosotis, who is the CEO of Pittsburgh International Airport. Thank you for joining us, Christina. So earlier today, uh, earlier today you took part in a uh, session which uh, covered uh, getting to grips with uh, transformation. So um, can you please uh, provide some of the highlights uh, from the session? Sure. Uh, we really had a, a robust conversation around what is going to be essential for transformation, what each of us bring to the table. I focused a lot on what we're trying to do at Pittsburgh International Airport in terms of expanding our impact on the region and how we're doing that and uh, had really good dialogue with all of the participants. Okay, that's great. And uh, can you please uh, give us some of uh, the latest project that you've been working on to drive transformation at uh, Pittsburgh International Airport? Sure. So we started about four and a half years ago to really focus on creating a culture that would allow every employee to innovate. And that has resulted in a number of leading initiatives that include uh, visually, um, excuse me, an app that helps the visually impaired navigate the airport in conjunction with Carnegie Mellon University. We also worked with a spin-off of Carnegie Mellon to implement real-time TSA wait time technology that uses closed circuit cameras and artificial intelligence passenger flow for a fraction of the cost of anything in the market right now so we had been looking at technology that would cost about eight hundred thousand dollars and we paid ten thousand dollars for this highly accurate uh, very very exciting for us we've released a sensory room created a sensory room for individuals with autism in conjunction with a number of uh, autism organizations and that came as an idea from one of our heavy equipment operators so we're really focused on how does the whole culture come together and become one of innovation so that we can start to get back into an industry leadership position. Okay, and you already mentioned that you are uh, working with some technology, but what do you believe would be the leading technology in the next uh, one to two years? I don't know. I think that's what we're trying to figure out is, is how, do we, how do we plan for technology we can't even imagine yet? We're building a new terminal, so we want to make sure that no matter what, we've got the flexibility to accommodate any kind of technology that's going to come down the pike and become highly relevant to airports and airlines that can work together to make it happen. Okay, and just to kind of wrap it up, how do you envision the um, uh, terminal, airport terminal of the future? I think that the airport terminal of the future is really going to take the data that is generated by the passengers, the building itself, uh, and make a lot of opportunity sets for management to make decisions and make life easier for passengers, tenants, airlines, partners, all of us. Um, I think that once we can start to really understand the data and we can start to use it smartly, I think it makes for a better passenger experience for everybody and a better experience for the airlines that serve us. Okay, that was great. Thank you, Christina. Thank you.